This is Charlie Kao with Travel Mall Media Group at ITB Asia in Singapore with Bobby Healy, who's the Chief Technology Officer at Car Trawler. Yes, indeed. You, you've trolled in a lot of airlines and OTAs and everybody else for their car uh, inventory pricing, etc. That's right, car and all ground transportation, anything with wheels actually. So, car, private transfer, bus, rail, a whole lot. Car trawlers been around for 10 years? 10 years now, yeah. The model has been the same, has it? It has been, yeah. So we're pure B2B business, so you don't see, you can't rent a car or get a train ticket on car trawler. So we only power other people's brands. And, and the reason we do that is that we don't want to compete with our own customers for their customers. So yeah, we've been around 10 years, we're still growing like crazy, we're, we power 90 international airlines now. Um, and this year our growth will be 40% year on year. So, Is it still growth. airlines or No, airlines OTA? are about 20% of our business. Mm -hmm. We power a lot of uh, OTAs, a lot of direct online businesses, and we power a lot of meta search players as well. We even power direct suppliers' own websites. Our revenue management kind of is a nice product that they like to use. And in terms of the supply side, the, the, the wheels, Yeah. Um, you have them in how many countries? Oh, there's, there's not well, a country we don't have them You in. don't have In fact, mm -hmm. I'll be in Tripoli next week uh, using our products in Tripoli, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, we recently signed the low-cost carrier there. Uh, wherever you can, wherever there are oh, wheels. Everywhere, everywhere, yeah. There's, there's nowhere. So every day we'll make a booking in 174 different countries every day. Mm -hmm. It's phenomenal. I didn't even know there were that many countries. And you're connected to these? Uh, car rental companies directly to their uh, inventory That's right. pricing system. Yeah, so we connect. So for a lot of them, for 98% of our business, we direct connect to them straight into their, their own system. Their own systems. Yeah, it's about, there's about 3,000 companies now to connect to. For some of the smaller ones or the newer ones in emerging markets, we load their data into our system, but it's less than now, it's less than 2% actually. 3,000 plus, were they? Similar? Were they using uh, the same system? Some of them use the same system. So that, that 3,000 we connect to with just under 1,000 different connectors. You write a connect Even then, my you write God. connect in three days. Uh -huh. Pretty amazing. New technology. What trends are you seeing? Uh, we're seeing, so the biggest trend that we've always seen since our growth has been the shift from a single supplier model into multi-supplier. In other words, an airline or a business that had a special relationship with a single large Ryanair, airline. for example, Ryanair was a great Hertz example. exclusive. Yeah. yeah, exactly. I mean, Hertz is probably the best car rental company in the world. Nothing wrong with the product, top quality of product. Of course. Consumer just wants choice. So mm -hmm. what we're helping the airlines do is transition into being proper retailers of the product, of all the products. So if you look at any airline that we see in our, in our system, they capture less than 20% of the business that they have on that aircraft. So for every aircraft that flies out, they're only getting 20% of the business, and 80% is going to other intermediaries, other OTAs, that are selling car rental, trains, etc., to those same passengers. And we're helping the airlines to compete with those with those guys. Mm -hmm. How How's that doing? Are they able to convert Quickly, slowly. Yeah, I, you know, I don't want to be advertising too much, but we, you know, every single airline we go into, at minimum, we double the conversion, and mm -hmm. often we triple it. Like Hawaiian Airlines, we triple their conversion when we went in, and every other airline we at least double it. You know, it's compelling when you give the consumer proper choice and you merchandise properly, mm -hmm. it changes their behavior. What are the trends? I mean, are people renting? The yeah. Ferraris or budget cars? The biggest are they trend actually, seen, you know, when in Rome, the, big, the biggest trend is the Chinese are changing their behavior. Uh, so the entire, you know, the entire industry that we're in, the grand transportation industry, is, is seeing a complete switch on of the light in China as far as our product goes. So the Chinese consumer is traveling you know, in an unmanaged way. They're traveling not just around Southeast Asia, they're now traveling to Europe and the United States. More importantly, they want to drive their own cars. So, so the biggest immediate and short-term shift in the industry is the Chinese. Intra-Asia also, there's a, we see a lot of traffic. We power Air Asia, for example. The growth is phenomenal. So our growth in our growth in China for the last three years has, has been over 200%. Last year, it's 300% year on year. 
and you know, it's off a small base. But what we see is that that growth will be so far accelerated beyond anything we've seen in any other market that it will start to catch up with the European markets within three years. So given the scale of China, the online penetration and the affordability of car hire and grand transportation, that's where the big opportunity is. What, what are you seeing in terms of uh, pickup for collision insurance? Pick up for collision insurance. So um, we always sell a fully inclusive product, right? So ah. everything is rolled into the product. The only place we don't do that is in the United States, where people have that product already covered in their credit cards. So insurance is massively important for us. Um, where we provide optional insurance, which is an excess waiver product, we see about 80% of consumers buying that from us in some markets, as low as 30% in other markets. It just depends on, it, that's a cultural thing. Mm -hmm. markets have different I was thinking of the Chinese market, but I guess that's oh, an yeah, inclusive yeah. offering. Chinese market's an inclusive product as well. We, we have an unbundled product for the Chinese. It depends on the market that they're mm -hmm. flying into. So there, there, there'll be different approaches for, for each source market. So the Chinese market's a good example where we offer them different ways to unbundle all the aspects of the product, actually. Lastly, I presume payment-wise through your system, yeah. you're just connected through all the different and closest payment gateways yeah, it, for, for all the currencies. That's correct. You know, China, obviously, Alipay and UnionPay, those are big ones. Um, each of the market has something different. The German market is ideal and, and so right. on. So there's, uh, I mean, the first thing we do when we enter a new market, and, and there's very few what we call new markets now, the very first thing we do is put in place the banking relationships yep. or the form of payment relationships. Thereafter, it's a supply contracting and a distribution job, which is the same in every market for us, just a matter of scale. The, the, the other different thing about China is the diversification, the, the fragmentation of the supply base. So whereas in Spain we might have 50 or 60 different car rental companies we work with, in China there's, there's 10,000 companies of which a thousand of them are sufficient scale for us to include in our system. So, Goodness gracious. Exactly. So we'd be looking at signing two or three hundred suppliers a year instead of, you know, yeah. five or six. Bobby Healy, CTO for Car Troller, thank you very much. A pleasure, thank you.